Okay, today's fun project, 2004 Volkswagen Passat 4 motion with the 2.8 liter V6. I'm replacing the cam plugs. I already did so on the driver's side. It's easier than the passenger side. It's located under this coolant recovery tank back on the back of the cylinder head down in there. And this passenger side, I removed the air box and the intake hose that goes here so that I could have clearance. The actual camshaft plug is right here right where my screwdriver is touching so hopefully I can get a flashlight on there let's see if we can get a better view of it I'm trying to do this all with just two hands right there where the light is and you can see it just barely sticks out about an eighth inch it's right down in there maybe three sixteenths but that's it right there. What I'll do is I'll take that screwdriver and drive it down into there with a hammer so that it kind of grabs and then I'll pry it out. I'll flip okay, it. Okay, here's a good shot of the plug being pried out. I've got my screwdriver in there. And then I just pull back this way. And it should start coming out. It's coming out a little bit now, but I'll try to get it. Can hear it. There it goes. Boom. It's out now. Now I just got to reach down and pull it up. All right, the plug popped off. <clears throat> Fell down in there, so I've got these grabbers. I'm going to try to pull it out with this and then show you. There it is. There it comes. There it is. All right. So that's the old one on the passenger side. These come in handy. These tools, these little grabber tools, they're only a couple bucks. They have some feet that come out, see that? And then when you pull back on this button here, they retract and you can grab stuff like that. They come in real handy. Okay, I'm at the bench now. Here's the plug when I popped it out. So you can see this sits into the engine. We're looking at it from the top. So this would be the cylinder head here towards me and I take the screwdriver and what I did was on that little lip put this on top of it, beat it in with the hammer till it poked it a hole there and then I just pried it out, popped it out, worked it out. So that's what this... Alright, now that the old plug is out what I want to do is there's some residual oil down in here and I want to take a can of this cleaner and I want to spray out, spray that area down in there, get it, get it nice and clean. You can use brake clean, something that won't leave a residue behind. So I spray that down in there, get that nice and clean, and I'll take a rag. I'll reach in here with the, with the soft paper towel rag and, and get all that extra oil cleaned up really well before the new right, I want to make in. sure that it's clear that this plug sits in a pocket in the back of the cylinder head. It's very important that that gets cleaned out like you saw with the cleaner. There's debris in there and if you look closely at the plug, this is what a new one will look like. I'll get the replacement here, but you see this here on the right edge? Well, as I rotate it, you can see it's chipped away. You can see where the metal's exposed. Well, those pieces are still in that pocket on the cylinder head back inside there so they need to come out the spray will loosen it you may have to get a small pick and scrape that loose stuff out and make sure it's clear because otherwise the new plug will not seal properly so what I do is I can't show it on I can't get my camera to focus down in there but I'll take an inspection mirror and put it down in there and what I do is with that mirror I can look inside there with a flashlight and make sure everything's clean and that all that plastic is removed or rubber whatever this stuff is it gets hard like plastic it gets brittle I think it's a rubber type of product it gets brittle and cracks off so make sure all that is cleared out before the new stuff got the new out. seal here and it's part number for this model 0781031 one one three e right there all right there's the new seal and what i did is i'm doing a little trick here 
on the back side I took some of this 3M double sided um, tape and I put a piece here and what I'll do is I'll peel this red piece of tab back like that and I'll place my finger on there and that way it'll stick to my finger hopefully and when I come over to the car because it is a very tight quarters I'll be able to just keep it on the end of my finger and slide it down into position without dropping it and before I do that I'm going to put a bead of sealant around the outer edge so I'll take some of this stuff here and just put a coating around the outside lip right along in here all the way around and then I'll press it in with my finger I'll push it in and all you can do is kind of push it in tight until you got that eighth inch reveal that sticks out past the cylinder head and it's in place. Alright here's that little trick I was talking about see now I can just pop it right in so I just stuck my finger on there and got the sealant evenly coated around the outside edge and I'm gonna go over there and place it in unfortunately I won't be able to get it on camera because it's too tight to film but I'll get the results okay the new seal is in you can see the gray sealant right down here where I'm flashing the light I'll point to it with the screwdriver it just sticks out like I said maybe an eighth inch or so it's right down in here we'll let that sit for 24 hours let the sealant dry that way there won't be any leaks and I'll put the air, ba air box back and we'll start it up should be good to go I hope those tricks help somebody out Please click like. Don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Take it easy.